Hey guys, it's New Year's Eve and I am out paddling in St. Augustine and I have a riddle for you. Um, a man goes to bed at 9.45 at night. He turns off the lights, turns off the TV, gets a glass of water, goes to sleep. In the morning, he wakes up and discovers that he's responsible for um, the deaths of seven people. How is this possible? I'll tell you the answer at the end. And thank you to the kid in my class who told me this riddle um, because I immediately thought of it when I got out here. Anyway, so this lighthouse, I was just looked it up when I got out here because I got curious. Um, this lighthouse, they said that there was a Spanish watchtower that was built here in the late 1500s. And we've talked about that in class too because the Spanish, that was one of the ways they like got control of Florida was building all these watchtowers up and down the coast. Anyway, so um, yeah, there was a watchtower there originally in the 1500s, but there, um, there wasn't an official lighthouse lit until 1824, and they said that it was, I guess, in this area, but it was in an existing coquina um, structure. So that's not that actual structure. But then in 1871 to 1874, I think that it said that, um, oh, I think I just saw a sea turtle. It was not a turtle but anyway um so 1871 to 1874 the florida territorial governor government paid for um, this structure to be built and it was it has served as a lighthouse um, all this time and now they do a lot of educational stuff there and you can go and learn about shipwrecks and really neat stuff like that i've done a field trip there before and i really enjoyed it there are like 200 and seven or 70 I don't know there are over 200 steps to get to the top of the lighthouse so it is a little bit challenging for your legs on the way up but it's a really cool view and you can see we might be able to see that there are a ton of people up there right now probably doing a tour and just learning more about the facility so anyway you guys should come visit the lighthouse if not on a field trip but with your family or something it's pretty awesome and this Anastasia Island that I'm out here looking at I have heard there is a good chance that I really might see a sea turtle, but I also can see right now there's an egret, I think that's a night heron, and then there's some other bird just like hanging out right over there. Ooh, that is, what is it? It's an ibis right there through the bushes. So there are a lot of cool birds out here. Um, I don't know if that was a sea turtle or if it was like a giant fish that just got spooked by me when I got out here. but. I encourage you to go outside and enjoy what we have because it's awesome. birder is dying right now. There's an osprey, a seagull, and a cormorant all just hanging all just hanging out right here on the stock. Ew. <laughs> well that was gross but you can kind of see how the cormorants oh sorry his toes are webbed and the end of his beak is just a little bit curved like a C. Okay, so the riddle. Um, the guy that went to sleep and found out in the morning that he was responsible for seven deaths. Um, he was a lighthouse keeper. He turned off the light that's turning off the warning system and then caused a shipwreck. Yep. And that was in honor of the St. Augustine Lighthouse. You're welcome.